What's up? So I'm in Australia, in Sydney, for a conference called Web Directions Summit, and it is phenomenal. I'm also really thankful to be here because I have a ton of family in Australia, and I get to come speak at this conference, and then I'm just going to stick around for a while and hang out with my family. Uh, Christmas is coming up, New Year is coming up, so it'll be really nice to, to hang out with them. Um, I did a talk at this conference. I spoke about um, data fetching in React. I've done this talk before, so I'll put a link to one of the times I've done it up there. And when the video at Web Directions becomes available, I'll put it as well up there and in the in the description below so you don't uh, miss it. I want to touch base with, that sounds weird, touch base. I, I don't know why people say that. I want to, look, I just want to real talk with you um, about exciting things that happened at the conference. My highlights, um, and let's just do rapid fire. And I also want to talk to you about um, things that can be impactful for your career that I learned from this conference and kind of where I think the industry is going based on the conference and where, you know, if I was um, just starting out as an engineer or if I'm looking for direction, what direction I would take. Um, all of that's coming up soon. So let's get right into it. Um, the conference really for me started with the SID CSS meetup. I didn't know Sydney had an amazing CSS meetup scene, but it was extremely good. It was their, I think it was their ninth birthday. And there were some great talks. I mean, from Rachel Andrews, from the Chrome team, um, you had Ahmed from Palestine who talked about really some great um, grid versus position absolute stuff. It inspired me to make a video. Probably I'll make a video and then tag him. Um, and there was also Henri Helvetica, you know, absolute MVP, um, works at web page test and talked to us about the ABCs of performance. Really great, great evening. Um, from there, I got the chance to kind of hang out in Sydney and, and look um, and hang out with uh, Jed Watson from ThinkMill and a bunch of founders. And it's a beautiful industry, y'all. It, it really is. But okay, how was the conference? The conference had amazing talks. I mean, it was six tracks. There was React, there was front end, there was management, there was product design, ton of different things for people to do. Um, and I think it was organized extremely well, especially given like the last experience at uh, Modern Front Ends Live. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link um, up there. Uh, it was a multi-track conference organized very well at the Sydney Convention Center. I can't fault it, really. There was, there, we were taken care of, there was great food, there was great, it was very um, pleasant. Among the talks, most of them, surprisingly, that I, that I was able to see were, were CSS, and I think that's awesome. I love seeing CSS at JavaScript uh, conferences, and I would love to, I'd probably make a video about why that's important. I think, really, there needs to be cross-pollination between CSS and JavaScript and HTML quite a lot, because it is a cohesive web platform. Um, among some talks that I that I really enjoyed was Dan Shapir talking about um, the, the performance of various libraries and frameworks on the web. Um, very insightful. Of course, Henri Helvetica had a great piece um, and, and just plenty of, of great stuff there. There was also like a like a Q and AI panel about AI questions, which I I, I didn't get to attend, but looked interesting. Um, all in all, great. I want to share with you. Um, one thing that I picked up from this conference that might nudge your career in the right direction if you are looking for direction. Um, I think it's important at this point to consider web performance. I feel like there's a lot of perf performances really all the rage these days. Um, from, you know, Solid.js and Quick being like faster alternatives to React. Um, and also just kind of combating the problem that like Alex Russell has been talking about a lot, which is we ship way too much JavaScript. Um, I'm seeing more and more of a focus on let's get things fast. And it's really interesting to see how we get things fast because with Quick's approach, I'll leave a link up there to a video I did. Um, you know, it's about, it's all about lazy loading JavaScript on demand and shipping as little JavaScript as needed. Um, with Svelte's approach, it's about let's not include a virtual DOM at all, um, but have a compiler output, you know, small, quick JavaScript. Um, there's multiple approaches, and that's just on the front end world, right? There's also the the whole networking world, the DevOps world, almost where we're now seeing edge computing be such a trend, right? Going from um, you know having one server to serve your front end to having a CDN serve your front ends, a content delivery network, and now to having a globally distributed set of databases that these content delivery networks can talk to. So it's like decentralizing everything, and I don't mean decentralizing in the Web three way. I mean decentralizing and getting stuff as close to your users as possible so that you know there's less distance across the speed of light for data to travel, things reach your people faster, and everybody's happy. I'm seeing edge computing and performance be in demand, and I think that's an area to focus. It's just plenty of fun. I should maybe make videos about it, because it is 
trendy and fun. And at the end of the day, users benefit. People love faster things. This is like empirically proven. I'll put a link to some studies and numbers uh, under the like button. So yeah, that's my takeaways. I'm glad finally I was able to do a short video about a very well organized conference. Um, Sydney is stunning. The conference was stunning. It was a pleasure also attending like Bramus's talk about upcoming CSS things. Really a phenomenal conference. Thank you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, um, John and Jane Alsop and the other organizers, Web Direction Sydney was phenomenal. Um, coming at you with another video real soon, but what did you think? What do you think about edge computing? What do you think about uh, performance as a focus? Is, is it the new trend or am I, just, am I just seeing things? Leave a comment below or at me on Twitter. But for now, that's been it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.